Kartra finally has surveys and quizzes and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to use them. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur and I help entrepreneurs like you automate your marketing and sales. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know how much I love Kartra, but one of the biggest glaring omissions, especially when it comes to creating courses and memberships, was that Kartra did not have surveys and quizzes natively built in. Well, I'm glad to report that. As of this week, I'm recording this video, Kartra now finally has surveys and quizzes and the functionality is amazing. So if you look on the left hand panel here, you will see my surveys now. And so quizzes and surveys are both under my surveys and the interface is really, really similar. And I'm going to go over both. Now, if you just hit plus survey, you have a choice between a traditional survey and a scored quiz. Really, the only difference is that one has correct answers obviously the quiz and the other one does not have correct answers since it's a survey and it's more opinion based. Literally all the other functionality is pretty much the same. So I'm going to go over the survey first and then show you some of the differences in the quiz. And then after all of that, I'm going to show you all the ways in which you can use these surveys and quizzes and how to add them to your landing pages, your courses, your memberships. So let's start with the traditional survey. Let's click on that and we hit create example survey two. let's call it that you can of course add a category for organization purposes i always recommend you do but in our case we won't do that because we're just doing an example so once you click on that it creates it you can have a survey description here if you'd like and on the right hand side you can change your logo or upload it if you haven't already i'm going to hit save there hit next now the next thing to do is to actually build the surveys and it's built using this launcher you can see here it's pretty intuitive what you can do here is the intro cover firstly and what that is is you can create kind of like an introduction splash page to your survey i recommend you do so let's say you go with text and image and you can just upload any image here let's just say i'm gonna do this and of course, you'd like to change this text and all of that as needed. And then the obvious next thing you want to do is add questions. So if you just simply click add question and let me tell you the question variety is amazing. So you can do text only text and image with this layout, text and image with this layout and text and video. Let's just say we go with text and video. Now, once you've chosen that format, and I just want to mention, regardless of which one you use, you always have all these question options. So let's just say we chose that one. You can have a single text, multiple answer text, short answer, long answer you see here. And this is one of the coolest ones. You can have them choose from an image. It's like plus or minus. You can get ratings. So really cool. Let's just go with a single option here and then you hit save. And there you have it. Those are your answers. Now, one of the things you can do is if you click on this pencil next to this here, we'll see that you can make the question mandatory, which is pretty cool if you need them to answer specific questions and not other ones. Now, this one here is called new versus existing question. And what this does is it allows you to basically save your responses. So if this is a new question, you're going to set it up here and you're going to enter this custom field example question and then what will happen is and of course you can add more responses here and then once you hit apply and i want to go back to that there now what will happen is the next time around if you wanted to import that it won't be here because i just did it but it would just be in the drop down select there so that you don't have to type this question again so moving on then we'll add one more question type here. Let's say you go text only and let's say you want to do this rating here. I just want to show you a couple of examples here and there you are. Now, one thing I like about this question type and you'll notice different question types will have some different options here is this part can actually be added to their profile. So if you go add question to lead profile, you can name the actual field within their profile here. So let's just say rating and then you can put the custom field question here. How would you rate us? And then what will happen is now you can actually trigger things off of this rating field. So that is pretty cool. And I just want to show you if you want to delete a question, you just have to click this delete button. 
Now you also have the option of changing the question to be more of a vertical scrolling system here or if you want them to go one question at a time. It's up to you. You can also do some branding changes here and basically it's light branding. It can change mainly the interface here. You can see it's the one highlight color and I've already set up my brand in my palette but you could set that up as well. You can go to create palette and it's pretty self-explanatory there. You name it and you just set your colors. Now the next section here is identification and what this is going to let you do is actually capture their information if you don't want them to be an anonymous survey. So it simply creates a form and you can add as many fields as you need to your form if you want to get their first name as well. You can add custom fields. So it's similar to the form builder so I won't go through it too much in depth but it's pretty self-explanatory there. And again this is an optional step. You don't have to have it if you want to have anonymous surveys but it's certainly good to have if you do want to collect data on who it is that's doing this if you want to trigger some action especially from these surveys like I said if you want to enroll people who complete a certain survey or answer a particular question into a particular sequence in Kartra using tags then you can do that now the success criteria you have two options you can immediately send them to another page if you want them de going deeper down your funnel or if you want to send them to another offer you want something else they want to do or you can simply display a confirmation page and you can even give them sort of like a well done message there you could even have a video you saw that option and you'll see that it's like congratulations you finished the survey there's this option if you want to uh, add a redirect button if you want them to go to something else afterward if you want to let them share this out so a lot of great options and finally you just go to save and preview to check out your survey to see if it's as intended you can see here start survey you can see it there you can play around with it test it out pretty cool and you can see that and you can see the congratulations right there then when you're ready you can just go to save and exit. Then it takes us back to the wizard and we hit save it next. No, I don't want to send an email. Yes, I want to send a confirmation email here. You can send someone a thank you for completing the survey or next steps. You can configure that here if you need to, but I won't do that for now. And you can send them an email confirmation. Then you hit save and next. You can assign them tags when they do this survey. You can put them in a list. You can subscribe them to a sequence. You can even do some advanced automations if you'd like. I have videos on all of this, so I won't go through it here. And then it's basically done. You have two options. You can embed this survey anywhere on your external websites if you need, or you can get a link to a Kartra hosted page where you can send people to and they can do their survey. Now, I wanna cover quizzes as well really quickly, and I've already made one here, so rather than going through it all, you would simply go through here, go to scored quiz. Just for the sake of time, I've made an example for us here. So let's just go through it, and you would essentially follow the literal exact same steps, except the one difference I'll show you here is that you have the option to mark which answers are correct. So let's say you have configured this question, you go to this pencil icon, and this time around you'll see this correct. So you just have to mark which answers are correct, and it's going to keep tabs of who's answered what. So you can see here, all of the question types are basically the same thing, and you'll see what's correct and what's not. So it's simply adding one more option, and upon success, it'll show their completion percentage, as you'll see here. So you'll be able to show them if they passed or failed. Now, once your surveys are published, you can get some really great analytics on it. So if you just go to analytics there, you can see who's completed your surveys. I've done some example submissions here just for your reference. So you can see here at an aggregate view, or if you go to results, you can get a more detailed view. So let's just say the example quiz we can get a summary of all responses, which is like an aggregate. Or you can say, hey, how did this person score? So in this case, the quiz that I created was created anonymously without the form to show you that this means that the person here who submitted it, we don't know who they are because we didn't include a form. In contrast, 
the example survey we created, we did create a form so we can see the aggregate responses. But if we click by lead, we can see that the person submitted it and what they did. Now, if you want to use your form inside a course or your membership, it's really, really, really easy. So you just go into your membership, you launch your builder, and then you simply take the survey here and drag it into wherever you'd like. So you drag that in here, let's say, and then you select the category and then you select the whichever quiz or survey you made. And then you hit save and there you go. It will now be there when you hit publish. But if you want to preview it, let's say you go save and preview, then you'll see within your course, that is just nicely displayed for you and you can start the survey right within there. And you can also use your surveys in basically any section of Kartra, such as your landing pages. If you simply go to components here, go to survey and you can just set the survey that you want as I'm doing here. And there you are. So that's how you use the surveys and quizzes feature in Kartra. And it was the one feature really holding Kartra back from being a true course or membership builder. If you want to also be able to give any kind of credential. And it was also from a marketing perspective without the surveys function, if you ever wanted to get insight into your audience and be able to trigger things off of that, it wasn't quite possible. You need to use an external tool. So I'm really glad to say that now it's all included. If you found this video helpful, drop me a like, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't got started with Kartra already, click the links in the description below and I can show you how to get a 30 day trial of Kartra for only $1. I also have tons of other Kartra videos if you're looking for more tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.